So I've got, it's got my buddy Daniel here with me. We're gonna look at just one of my favorite variations on the double leg. And this is really important if you have any knee injuries, you know. And I've shown before how to shoot placing your knee on the floor. And so this variation is really great. You're not gonna hurt your knee. So that's the whole point behind this video. So just review some of the basics with the double leg takedown, pretty much any takedown really. I need to be close enough to my opponent. Okay, that's the range I need to be comfortable in. If I'm a little too far outside of that, whenever I move in for my takedown, it's gonna be easy for him to stuff it or move out of the way. Okay? So always get a little closer to him. Always make sure you have some contact with your, your opponent, okay? So and you'll see with wrestlers, they usually they'll grab the around the neck, we call this a collar tie, or you know, maybe some type of bicep control or wrist control. So it's always gonna be some type of upper body control because think about it, if he's gonna block my takedown, it's, it's usually gonna be some combination of his head, his arms, or his hips, okay? And so if you wanna take him down, we gotta beat all three of those. So once I'm in really close, I'm not happy not fighting or anything. Uh, so you have to figure out which legs you wanna have in front, and it's like skateboarding, boxing, just whichever side feels natural, okay? I like to leave my left leg, my right leg, when I shoot, but the only way you can discover that is if you do both legs, okay? So I'm gonna leave my right leg. My goal is to take that penetration step, that deep step between his legs, okay? Again, I need to be close to him when I do this. If I'm too far away, I'm not really penetrating between his legs. So when I'm close enough to touch him, that ensures that I'm close enough to get that leg in deep, all right? Once I'm here, I'm gonna control his legs with both of my arms, and I like to kind of drape my arms downward, down his calf, like, a, like almost like a grapevine. So I'm draping downward, and from here, try to move back a little bit down. It's very hard to move, because look, I'm kind of pulling his knees in towards me, he's gonna lose a lot of power. Versus if I go higher up on his eyes, you see, I'm not controlling his legs, so he's gonna be able to sprawl out on me. So again, close enough to touch him. Get a little bit closer down. Penetration step. Head on the side. And look at great finding my arms down. And from here, I'm very heavy. All right? And then there's a lot of different ways to finish this. In judo, they call this move the Morotegari. So, uh, and like in jiu-jitsu, I learned this as like the bar room double A. Because if you're in like a street fight or something, you don't, you don't want to place your knee on the floor, you know, jack your knee up. So you could actually just shoot in for the double and pull the guy down. Easy double leg, okay? So again, we're here, close. Step forward with the penetration step. Head on the side, break right your arms down. And as far as the finish, super easy, guys. All I'm gonna do, imagine like you're a football player. You're gonna tackle your opponent. So I'm just gonna push him with my shoulder. You can see how it moves him backwards. At the same time, I'm gonna pull his legs up towards me. So I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna clean down pretty easy, okay, Daniel? So don't make a lot of noise. Let's move forward a little bit. So I'm here, so you can hold me a little bit too. So for the move, I'm gonna have him hold me so I don't make a lot of noise. <laughs> so I'm here, I'm gonna lean forward as I pull his legs up. Okay, so from here, depending on how hard you do that, you might actually fall into the close guard. And if you've seen some of my, some of my other videos, you know, always place your hands in the armpits, put the knee hips back, come up, and then we can start to open that. Or if you like, say you hate being in the guard, I have a lot of people, they, they just, they can't do a closed guard. When you do the takedown, guys, don't follow him, stay up, okay? So one more time. Again, guys, we're here, and I'm not gonna get too in, deep, in depth on like where to grab, where to hold, because I, that needs its own video, all right? So I mix space, so I can grab his legs, step forward with that penetration step, Head on the side, break my arms down, down his calf, and look, I push him backwards as I pull his legs up, okay? So just to demonstrate without being too loud. Oh. Okay, stay on top. If you've seen some of my other videos, this is a great time to start passing. I like to do a lot of knee cuts, so look, look for those videos, guys. All right, guys, so that's the bar room double leg. Also called the Morotigari. So again, if you have any knee injuries, give this move a try, okay?